The RHS Green in Great Britain campaign focuses on health, happiness and horticulture. And it's about getting people outside into their space to enjoy it, but get maximum benefit from it as well. And this year, Anne-Marie Powd has designed an amazing garden that exemplifies this so well. It's vibrant, it's fun, it uses space really wisely, and it's a beautiful place to be in. So what does health, happiness and horticulture really mean? Well, in this corner of the garden, it's about being in a tranquil space. You have the dappled shade from the roses and the trees, you have the soft-coloured permeable paving, and you have the water, the reflective water, which is surrounded by the lovely aromatic lavenders. And the net result is a really cool, calm and relaxed space. Growing your own food is really important nowadays and it's about maximising your space as much as you can. And it's about using containers or even containers on a roof and growing the crops that you want so you can pick them freshly. And there's also the environmental benefit because it helps you reduce food miles that you might consume. Of course, the diversity of the plants brings in a range of habitats for wildlife. And what that means is the gardens are not only beautiful places, but they can welcome wildlife, which is good for diversity and good for the environment. Colour is one of the most important parts of a garden, whether it's the flowers, the foliage, the paving, or even the accessories. And colour has been proven to have an impact on your mood. And you can use that really wisely in a garden. Sometimes it might be the subdued, cooling colours of light greens, dark greens, purples, that can bring a sense of tranquility to an area. Or conversely, colour can be used to add some impact, some real drama. And here in Anne-Marie's garden, she's done that so well with the lupins, the roses, the colours of the wall, and even the cacti here. It brings a great sense of energy and a great spirit to the garden. Any garden can contribute to your health and well-being, and this design by Jekka McVicker does it so well. Not only are the soft, sinuous curves laid out to make the garden look a special place, but the plants have a secondary use too, whether it's a rosemary that helps with memory, the blue flax with the linseed, which helps with digestion, or even the leaves of the hawthorn tree, which have been proven to help strengthen your heart. All these plants help contribute to your health and your well-being. Ultimately, gardens are places for relaxation and enjoyment. And the designer, Paul Martin, has done that so well here. We've got a very cool contemporary planting palette, but also the hard landscaping and the structure. Given relaxed air, a space where you can sit back, have an air of mindfulness or even spirituality, and be in a very beautiful and special place. All the gardens we've seen are great examples of how to bring health, happiness and horticulture into your outdoor space. But by choosing the elements to suit you for your garden, we can together all be part of making Britain a more beautiful and greener place.